All right, just a quick scriptural reference on the fact that Talmudic Judaism is in fact an antichrist false religion that damns souls to hell. In light of the current political climate where it's taboo to say anything about Judaism, will get you accused of racism and, and anti-Semitism, which is kind of funny because I've been accused of supporting Hamas and everything else because I say that the religion of Judaism is a false religion. I'm not attacking racial Israel. I affirm the biblical right that of racial Israel to be in the physically in the land that God gave them, that God gave Abraham in his physical seed. Okay, Judaism as a religion. If okay, I'll put it like this: if it denies Jesus Christ salvation through Jesus Christ, it takes souls to hell. Okay, see, there's racial Israelites, and then you have Talmudic Jews. Who are practicing the false religion of Judaism and people need to realize that there is a difference between bashing Judaism and attacking racial Israel I support racial Israel and the right to be in the land I don't support the false religion of Judaism which is practiced by anybody can be practiced by anybody of any race plain and simple so I need to make that distinction bashing Judaism see it'd be like saying you hate Indian ethnic Indians because you say things about Hinduism that aren't all that nice or you hate Arabic people because you say Islam takes souls to hell that's basically what you're doing if you say I'm racist for attacking Judaism. So I wanted to just dispel that myth. From a scriptural standpoint, okay, leave your, your feelings, because you have professing saints taking extreme opposites of both sides. You have the hyper, you know, Zionistic Israel worshippers who essentially just don't question anything about Israel. Never mind the fact that Israel is Jesuit controlled. But they don't look at it from a scriptural standpoint that both the Muslims and the Jews need salvation. Islam and Judaism are both tickets to hell. Scriptural, okay? This is the word of God. This is not feelings, not opinions. What does the word of God say? Okay? Leave your, your political standpoints out of this. Okay, don't let politics get in the way of scripture. Okay, what does the word of God say about Judaism? That The fact that Judaism denies Jesus Christ. What does God say about this religion? Well, let's take a look at the scriptures. Okay? 1 Corinthians 16, 22. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ... Let him be anathema, maranatha. You should read through the Talmud and see the kind of stuff, the, the, the blasphemous, wicked statements it says about Jesus Christ. I'm not, I, I can't even repeat some of that stuff because it might actually get me a YouTube strike because of the fact that it's so profane and just vulgar that, you know, I can't, I mean, I can't repeat it. It's, it's, it's that vexing. It talks about him being born out of adultery and, and, and everything else. That's, that's, the, that's the only thing I can really cite. That won't get me a guideline strike for inappropriate content or whatever else. But if you want the Talmud quotes, I will send them to you. It's some of the most filthy, profane stuff you could ever think of that it says about Jesus Christ. Okay? Yeah. If anyone might love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. That's Judaism. Okay? Also the fact, again, Judaism denies salvation through Christ. Galatians 1, verse 8 through 9. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. Judaism denies salvation through Christ. It is accursed. Okay? Leave your political stance out of it. This is what the word of God says. Okay? Plain and simple. This is all scripture. John three, uh, John chapter three, verse eighteen: He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Unless you follow Judaism, that that's that's what you're doing. If you're saying this is anti-Semitic and hate speech, and you're a professing Bible believer, I guess I guess I guess this is anti-Semitic too, because if you don't believe in the Son of God, you know, don't believe salvation through Christ. If your religion denies that, then you're going to hell. Apparently, Judaism is the exception to that. In some, of the, in some, in the minds of some professing saints. John three thirty six. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Judaism is no exception. Uh, John chapter fourteen verse six. Now apparently, I guess Jesus Christ was anti-Semitic in this statement. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, unless you follow Judaism. That's not what it says at all. No man. Now here's a really good scripture, okay? Lest we lest we're to think that the Apostle Peter was anti-Semitic for saying this to two Talmudic Jews. Check this out. Acts 4, verse 10 to 12. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, he's talking to the Jewish people, the racial Israelites, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified... 
whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone uh, which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of, of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. He's rebuking Judaism. They deny salvation through Christ. See, if they if they did not deny salvation through Christ, wh why even bother preaching the gospel to them? You know, if, it, if I'm wrong for condemning Judaism and saying it takes souls to hell, you know, I mean, I guess I guess there's no point in preaching them the gospel. But the apostle Peter is doing exactly that. So those of you who think I'm anti-Semitic and I hate Jews for for saying that Judaism takes souls to hell, you would say the exact same thing to Peter. Would you? Plain and simple. You know, ye men of Israel saying there's no salvation apart from Christ. But of course, John Hagee would probably think that that's somehow some horrible uh, uh, racist statement, apparently, or whatever else. 1 John 5, verse uh, 10 to 12. He, he that believeth on the Son of God hath a witness in himself. He that believeth not God, so he that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God, sorry, hath not the Son of God, hath not life. Again, it's it's plain scripture. If you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. Judaism, Judaism denies salvation through Christ. It, it, it will damn souls to hell. 1 John 2, verse 22 to 23, Who is a liar, that, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is Antichrist that denieth the Father, and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. That also refutes this, 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 this lie that, oh, they just have the God of the Old Testament. The God of the Old Testament is Jesus Christ. Okay, If you don't have the Son of God, you don't have God the Father. So, like, like this idea that, oh, they, they have God the Father because he was in the Old Testament. They just they just reject Jesus Christ. No, if you, if you reject Christ, see, it's the Godhead. You reject Christ, you're rejecting his Father too. You know? Let less were to think that the Trinity is somehow three, that the Godhead is somehow three separate deities or whatever. Because if you pr it propagate this idea that, well, they just have the God of the Old Testament, you know, God the Father, but th they just don't have Jesus Christ, well, then what you're essentially implying is that Jesus Christ and God the Father are two separate deities, whether you realize it or not. If you don't have the Son, you don't have the Father, plain and simple. That's what the Word of God says, okay? Your feelings may not like it, but that's just the truth of the Scriptures, okay? Second John 1 verse 9 to 11, Whosoever transgresseth, transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. Sorry, sorry, uh, John, that, that was a very uh, hateful statement you made against the Jews. You must hate them and everything else. You must support Hamas. You know, because you're saying that, that if, if you don't have the doctrine of Christ, well, that would mean that Judaism is, is somehow this horrible thing. See, when when you say that that condemning Judaism is like again, it's just this whole false like this Hegelian dialectic of oh, you're either f supporting Jesuit-controlled Israel or supporting Jesuit-controlled Palestine. Well, you look at it from a third-party scriptural perspective. Both sides need salvation. Islam is also of the devil too. Islam is every bit as, as satanic and demonic as Judaism. Same thing with Roman Catholicism, same thing with Hinduism, you know, atheist communism, whatever else. You deny the Son, you don't have the Father. But by the standards of this hyper-Zionistic, you know, see, dispensationalism is scriptural, but there are some dispensationalists who take it to such an extreme that they get into this idea of, of dual covenant, you know, all this other stuff that essentially that basically damns, essentially if you believe in dual covenant theology, you're basically... Uh, damning Jewish souls to hell by not giving them the gospel by thinking that they have some kind of free pass or whatever else. Okay, plain and simple. So, again, scripture, not feelings. Okay, if you don't have the son, you don't have the father. You can you can call me racist, anti-Semitic, Hamas supporter all you want. At this point, you're just lying. And you're blatantly denying what the word of God says. So, anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.